So our next speaker is Viviana Greco. She is a PhD student in Penelope Lewis Lab in Cardiff University Brain Research and Imaging Center. And she will tell us why it is important to wear a light blocking eye mask during sleep. So please, Viviana, go ahead. Yes. Can you see the slides? Yes. Okay. So hello everyone, and thank you for the presentation. So I really hope that at the end of this talk, all of you might decide to wear an eye mask during sleep. So first of all, why we decided to carry on this study? Because uh, there are several papers, and in particular the one that I have highlighted below, that look at the effects of the early light exposure on sleep architecture. They actually show that um, the early light exposure is going to affect the time span to REM sleep, is also going to affect the, the amount of wake that people had during sleep, and also the slow wave um, sleep time. There are also studies that look at the beneficial effects of wearing an eye mask during the night, but all of that have been done in patients in the intensive care units, but what they've shown overall is that all the aspects of sleep quality were significantly improved. So um, what we hypothesize is that based on the fact that um, in Cardiff area, the sunrise time between the end of June and the end of September is between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. And based on the fact that most of the flats have no shutters, we decided to see if the use of an eye mask during sleep might have improved sleep quality, memory consolidation, and alertness, and might also have been beneficial in terms of sleep architecture. So overall, we tested 95 participants between 18 and 35 years old, and uh, we tested them over the summer from the end of June till the end of September in a within subject design, in which in a counterbalanced order, the ambient light was blocked or not blocked during sleep. So um, as I said before, in a counterbalance order, we ask people to wear an eye mask or a no mask for two weeks. And we had five habituation nights followed by two consecutive testing days in which we tested people in the morning on three different cognitive tasks, the paired associate learning, the psychomotor vigilance task and the motor skill learning. And at the end, uh, at the end of day seven, so at the end of the second testing day, we ask people to wear a dream headband during the night. So uh, what about our behavioral results? Related to the period of associate learning, in which we ask people to learn 80 different word pairs, we have surprisingly seen that the um, learning performance related to all the corrected word pairs was significantly increased in the eye mask compared to the no mask. So in this case, when wearing the mask, the encoding performance was higher when, when wearing the mask. Related to the psychomotor vigilance task, looking at the first testing days, uh, we have seen no difference between uh, the mask or the no mask in terms of reaction times. Instead, when looking at the second testing days, we have seen that when wearing the mask, the reaction times were significantly faster compared to the no mask. At the end, for the motor skill learning, um, in which we ask people to reproduce um, with their non-dominant hand a five fixed um, digit sequence, we've seen that the use of the mask didn't have any kind of impact on this kind of task, but anyway, the um, overnight consolidation was uh, preserved for both the mask and the no mask as previously demonstrated. About the sleep architecture, in order to sleep architecture, we use the dream headband as the one that is reported below that has four electrodes on the front and two electrodes at the back. And um, I want to say that these results are just preliminary results and are still under analysis. So, but anyway, what we have seen is that when wearing the eye mask, the amount of time spent in stage non-REM to and in REM sleep was higher compared to the no mask. And we didn't find any um, correlation with the behavioral results. 
For the sleep quality, we assess the Stanford Sleepiness Scale that is going to look at the morning alertness. And for the Stanford Deepness Scale, the higher number are related to people that uh, feel more less alert and vital in the morning. And in this case, we've seen that when wearing the mask, people felt more vital and more alert in the morning. So what we can say overall is that blocking the ambient light with the use of an eye mask is going to have a positive impact in terms of encoding on declarative memory as demonstrated by the period associate learning. It's also going to have a beneficial effect in terms of vigilance, even if the PVT is not supposed to have any learning effect. So actually it would be good to receive some input from you. And uh, the eye mask, does an impact on procedural memories. And there is a beneficial effect in terms of alertness. And at the end, it might uh, have an impact on sleep architecture. Uh, I want to highlight might again. And at the end, thank you to all my lab. Okay, thank you so much, Viviana. I think after your talk, I'm pretty convinced that it's very beneficial to wear an eye mask. Um, especially during the summertime. Um, so let's see. We actually have a question from Ksenia Kirillova. Does having blinds give similar effects to wearing a mask? Well, um, I don't know, actually. Um, I... I don't think so, but yeah, um, I don't really know. I'm sorry. I think the question is... Uh, oh, sorry, Evan Blinds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. sorry. Okay. The effect of blocking the so, light, it is... Yeah, so the point of the study was really to see uh, what is going to happen without blinds, in particular because in Cardiff, people don't have curtains. So uh, I think that the results will be different in this case, yeah. So okay. it does matter, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I have one question as well. Yes, please. Okay, because at some point you mentioned like how much time they spent on REM and non-REM sleep. So I was wondering if it, if there's a difference on the onset time of REM sleep, let's say, or did you check for that? Like if they get to REM faster or not, depending on the mask. Yeah, so um, with the dream happened, we can only see the difference in the sleep stages. And uh, so I only have the overall time spent in each sleep stages. Mm -hmm. I cannot know when it started. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. And I have uh, actually a few questions myself. Um, so I was wondering if you have any hypotheses because it seems like you observe some differences in the memory related task, right? But not motor related tasks. So do you have any hypotheses when you think you haven't, you see the improvement in the memory related tasks, but not motor related tasks? Yeah. Um, so based on the fact that uh, we have seen at least with the dream advance that there is an increased time spent in stage N2 that usually has been related with motor performance. Um, it was a bit weird at the beginning because we thought that we would have had some kind of impact of the mask. Uh, but at the same time, the, the overnight consolidation was preserved, um, even if uh, there was no particular effect of the mask. So um, yeah, we are still we are currently replicating these results um, to see why this might be the case. Mm -hmm. Okay, very interesting. And um, I was wondering if, if you observed any gender uh, differences between males and females, the effects of wearing a um, eye mask. Oh, it's uniform. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's the same. We didn't see many kind of differences. Okay. Um, very interesting. Um, okay, we don't have any more questions. Um, so, 
So I guess last uh, question from me is what is the future directions? Um, what are you planning um, with the next steps for your research? Yeah. Uh, so at the moment, uh, this study has already been replicated and we are analyzing the results. So we replicated it over the summer. And so we're waiting to finish and to see if, um, what are the results of the replication and if we can confirm what we have seen before. Okay. Well, um, if there are no further questions, I think, I think we will move on to the next speaker. And uh, so our last speaker of this